Come on, shouted the rhinoceros. Let's land and build a fire. I'm cold. And onto the island he charged. Followed by all the others. Well, I must say, chattered Skipper Joe, I don't think much of the rest of the world if it looks anything like this. What's going on? rumbled the island. It opened one eye. Then another. Then it opened a mouth as big as a cave. And what do you suppose that island was? That's right, a whale. You're tickling my back, said the whale. Kindly remove yourselves. Back to the ship scurried the scared travelers. So on and on they sailed. turned gray and the sea turned white. That's funny, said Skipper Joe. I know the sky is blue. I know the sea is green, but what is white? It must be snow, answered a jungle bird. I once saw some on top of a mountain. I'm cold, roared the lion. Do we have to keep sailing south all the time? I'm sorry, said Skipper Joe, but that's the only direction I know. Hey there, shouted a voice. Where do you think you're going? It was a penguin standing on top of an iceberg. We're off to see the world, said Skipper Joe. Well, you won't find it here, said the penguin. This is the South Pole, nothing but ice here. You'd better turn north. You mean there is a north too, asked Skipper Joe. Why, of course, chuckled the penguin. Wait a minute, I wouldn't mind seeing the world myself. And so he waddled aboard. So they turned around and sailed north. weather grew warmer and warmer. But everyone grew hungrier and hungrier. Especially the lions and the tigers. They kept eyeing all the little animals who huddled in a corner and wished lions didn't have such healthy appetites. Hmm, I'd better do something quick or there won't be enough animals left to finish my story. Land ho! We right in the nick of time, wasn't it? That's South America over there, said the penguin. I've heard the food is quite good there. Well, cried Skipper Joe, what are we waiting for? All ashore, let's go on ashore. Dinner is served. So for the next few days, they gobbled and chewed and ate to their heart's content. They were so happy, they even had a celebration. And the llama, who had come down from the Andes Mountains to visit them, showed them some South American dances, clicking his sharp heels like castanets. <laughs> Oh, you should have seen the elephant dancing a rumba. You should have seen the hippo. Join in everybody! (laughs) 
The next day, after a good sound sleep, they set sail again. And the llama, who was curious about the rest of the world, came along. So on and on they sailed. And then one day, the sky grew black. The wind began to howl. A lightning flashed and the ocean thundered and roared and suddenly a storm broke. And finally, when the storm was over, not only were the animals lost, they were seasick, too. The lion's face was green. The elephant's trunk was limp. And the camel just held his head and wished he'd never left the desert. Oh, said Skipper Joe, Let's go home. Oh, no, groaned the animals. It's too far away. Find us land and quick. Well, said the penguin, that's the United States over to your right. We could settle down there. Lots of immigrants come here every year, I've heard tell. So they landed in the United States, but alas, the cities were unfriendly and wouldn't let them settle down. Until one day they reached a certain city called Your Town. And the first man they met was the mayor. It was Saturday afternoon. The sun was bright and warm. But the children just sat at their windows, sighing and twiddling their thumbs and singing a sad song. Five days a week. We go to school, we read our books and learn. But when school is done, we're ready for fun, cause a holiday we've earned. But there's nothing to do, no place to go to on a Saturday afternoon. Our fingers we twiddle, it's really a riddle to find something to do. Cause there's nothing for us to do on a Saturday afternoon. Why, how wonderful, cried Skipper Joe. Sir, said the mayor of your town, and what do you mean by that? Mr. Mayor, said Skipper Joe, cheer up, your troubles are over. We'll give your children something to do on Saturday afternoon. We'll settle down here, and they can visit our zoo. That is, if you'll just give us a place to live. It's a bargain, said the mayor, and here's the key to the city. How the children cheered when they heard the news. How the flags waved, how the band played. Went right down Main Street, paraded all the animals. The elephant was there. And the kangaroo. The lions and the tigers. And all the others, too! And far behind waddled the penguin. Wait for me! And that's how the zoo came to your town. And if you think this story isn't true, just ask the animals at the zoo. 
they'll tell you.